to ask this question. I'm very sorry, but uh, do you believe in God? Because um, I, I, from my point of view, this is my personal um, experience as well. If I talk to Christians, my, my little sister is a Christian and I love her to pieces, but um, it's always like the problem that uh, I uh, don't believe in Jesus like she does. And uh, so the believing systems, even if if like when I go to church with her, like uh, the church is full of love and full of nice and powerful energy. And I, I just love these people and I love the church. And But I am i wouldn't definitely um, uh, would say I'm a Christian. So I always see that this is like the point where it doesn't match, you know. And one, one of my uh, targets in this masterpiece project is that we like... Um, yeah, make it more smoother, then Christians can be a little bit more talkative to the esoteric movement and the esoterics are, can open up maybe a little bit more for the Christians. So uh, what is your point of view on that? Like, do you believe in God or what is God for you, if, if I may ask? I'm a great believer in diplomacy. One of the things that I do when I'm connecting is I ask to connect essence self, pure self to pure self, and so that all our sharing is for our highest good, the highest good of the person I'm talking to and the highest good of myself. And I've also got this code because I think we're very computer-like in a way. And so you can program the fields, the, the unified field. So you set the intention for mutually beneficial relationship with friends, with family, with all networks. And you ask for diplomacy. <laughs> And then you find that you, you say the right things at the right time in the right words, no matter who you're talking to, whether it's Christian, Buddhist or anything like that. You just find the ability to share in the right language because you're interested in not creating separation. You're interested in unity and harmony. So you get the support to do that. I mean, I have no idea. I've never met a singular entity, even though I did a painting once of this, of a long bearded person creating things in seven days. I've never had that experience, so I can't comment. But I have had experience of melting into a vibrational frequency of the purest love that I could only describe as divine. And I've seen my whole body, my third eye, um, explode till everything disappeared and all I was in was pure light. And in the light, there was a wisdom that spoke to me and has been doing that my whole life. And that's been my experience, that there's a vibration that is everywhere, in everything, in everyone, in that 99.9% .9 space that is around us that is so loving and so wise and my greatest joy is it's benevolent it is so benevolent and it's like it just in its endless love and wisdom and power it, it just seems to take care like when someone's in need like i've been in my human very deep in human time when I've had big challenges in life and I've literally been on my knees in prayer going, oh, help, how do I deal with this? You know, maybe somebody I loved had died or just lots of things all coming at once. And then I've just heard very clear guidance of how I needed to deal with it. And I applied the guidance and my whole life changed. And I just find that people seem to receive exactly what they need when they need it. And that there is this, I can only call it divine, divinely loving presence that is breathing us. I feel, I feel it is, it is part of us. It's a very pure part of us, but I feel it as what I call the baseline of creation. So in scientific higher light science terms, I call it baseline. I call it the baseline beat. And we say to people, go back to baseline. Relax back to baseline, drop back to baseline. And baseline is this frequency of love, wisdom. And when love and wisdom are combined, you have power. And that power can just bring great change. But love without wisdom, it's not enough. And wisdom without love is not enough. But when they come together, 
they form like a holy trinity with another leg of power. And so as we go back to baseline and baseline dominates this bio system, we just operate in a very different way and experience a very different reality individually and collectively. You know, and Jesus said there would come a time where two would be walking along a road and one would be taken and the other left behind. I interpret that as one just vibrated off that field, you know, just its frequency just shifted and it just virtually disappeared. And there's stories that Jesus, you know, might have been being mobbed or whatever, and suddenly he just disappeared and they saw him walking over a hill. Almost like he dematerialized and rematerialized. Is it? Did he just change zones? No, it's interesting, but I tend to not comment on things I haven't personally experienced because I don't know. But I do know that when enough people believe in something to be true, it's brought into reality in a parallel world, which then infuses into this world because that's what they believe to be true. So as a practical tip what I get from your words is like if someone is uh, very separated in, in his consciousness and is thinks in black and white and good and bad and need his borders and boundaries um, you can just go into the oneness and talk about um, fr from this point of view like uh, without borders and uh, without um, this narrow beliefs and then you might lift him up a little bit to help him Uh, to come out of this um, black and white view, point of view on this world. Um, Our work has always been pragmatic, you know. We, uh, you know, it's not my presence doing anything. We just like to stimulate people with good techniques to experience it themselves. And we have simple, you know, like a slow in-breath. I am. And you imagine breathing in the purest love that's vibrating through the baseline, not just oxygen, but pure love. And I am on the inhale and pure love relax into that as if it's in an ocean that you're relaxing into. And if you chant this over and over every day, you name, you claim, you become. We call it name it, claim it, be it. So the first part of this pure divine you um, essence you, enlightened you, is love. And so you claim, I am pure love. And then I am infinite because this energy is infinite. It has no beginning. It has no end. And that's part of opening to your multidimensional self nature that is infinite. And I am eternal. And that codes the cellular structure and slows the aging process right down and revitalizes your system because it reminds your cellular structure of this eternal energy that's washing through it, this infinite energy that's washing through it, this love energy. So you recalibrate your whole bio system just by these three things. I am pure love, I am infinite, I am eternal, and you transcend spiritual traditions. You transcend realities of separation and you go into experience because at our baseline, we are all beings of pure love whose energy is infinite and eternal. And a drop, drop, drop of that expresses itself in this little clothing for me in this life, if a woman, and for you in this life, as you are, and all the other seemingly different forms on earth. But we're all pure love, we are all infinite beingness, and we are eternal, all of us, in the purer levels, the roots of the tree, not the leaf. Yeah, and so, because that's where we come from and where we ride in, if you feel it or not. So maybe uh, the whole human mankind leads to this as well, that more and more people experience this, what you're experienced and uh, just told us with your words. 